Hello guys, welcome. Uh, video 23 of uh, Advanced Level Framework Development Series, and uh, I'll be talking here Dockerize Selenium Grid via Docker Compose. So last video I did explain about uh, Selenium Grid Docker at a high level, and we did created one Docker Compose file which ends with extension .yml. Now we are going to take a reference of that particular yml file so here it is docker-compose.yml and we are going to execute this docker yml file and automatically it will go to docker hub and it will download selenium hyphen hub and uh, it will start docker hub it will execute uh, doc, uh, sorry it will execute selenium hub it will download uh, selenium node chrome it will start it uh, it will run this particular image and so when image get run it will create a container so it is going to create a three containers now hub container chrome container and firefox container and since here we did not mention how many chrome nodes or how many firefox nodes i need it will create only one instance of firefox node and one instance of chrome node and that will be accessible on port 4444 here that is what we are giving on selenium hub internal and external port now uh, to run this particular yaml file docker compose yaml file the very first prerequisite you should have docker compose installed so docker compose by default come along with docker installation so if you have docker installed like if you check docker hyphen hyphen version you should be able to see docker version and if you have docker installed you will be having docker compose docker compose is a tool within docker fine now what i need I want to uh, execute this particular YAML file. Okay, and how to execute? I have mentioned it over here. To execute this Docker Compose YAML file, use Docker Compose hyphen F and path of the YAML file and up. This is what I need. Docker Compose is a tool name hyphen F in case you want to specify the name of uh, a YAML file and in which case you need that i'll tell you for example now where my docker file is present let's say it is present into this specific folder fine let's say if i come to this folder and if i navigate to the command prompt via that folder so my command prompt by default will be navigated over here right and if i type now docker hyphen compose right now in this case i need not to give hyphen f right hyphen f will be used to forcefully specify the location of docker compose file docker compose.yml file in my case i have docker compose file here itself in the same directory where i am right so i need not to specify the location and the file name you need to specify it if you are executing it from some different location right so my command is docker compose hyphen f is not required in my case and i need to use up and along with that hyphen d as a flag to execute it in detached mode right so i'll not use f so i'll say up and then i will use hyphen d flag right so that's it docker compose right now what this particular command is going to do uh, docker compose this particular tool will get invoked and once this tool get invoked it will look okay if there is hyphen f flag then it will search for a specific file if there is no hyphen f flag that means in the present working directory he will search for the file with exact name called as docker hyphen compose dot yml um, not exactly sure whether that should be yml or yaml both are supported extension but let's see so and op means it will uh, execute this specific file it will uh, make the services up and hyphen d uh, for the detached mode uh, execution okay detached mode in the sense once this execution of this command gets completed you will be still able to use the same command prompt window i'll execute okay so you see it is creating the network so the very first step is it has created a network okay and the second step it has started the hub okay the hub to creation process is done and then it has went and created the firefox node and then it has created the chrome node so these naming is coming by default okay so it is something like folder name underscore uh, whatever name of your service so that is coming automatically right so i see all three steps are done 
right now if i go to docker so now if i if i want to look out what and all the processes are running or what and all the uh, containers are running so i'll be typing docker hi docker ps hyphen a and that will give me the list of all the running processes <coughs> right now only this particular single command docker compose of d it has started these three processes selenium hub selenium node firefox and node chrome and it is running on port double four double four right and here you see something called as container id these container ids are used uh, uh, in case you want to destroy the container or stop the container or unpause the container right now after running this specific docker compose file that's it your docker uh, dockerized selenium grid or i would simply say selenium grid is up and running right so here you see the status is up from last 47 seconds right and where i should be checking it it on double four double four port right so if i go to my local host if i go to my local host local host double four double four and here you go here you see selenium grid hub whatever version i was using 3.141.59 that's the latest stable version and you see uh I mean if you see this url that means it is up and if you go to the console window here in the console window i am not able to find out any attached node give me a minute i should see that okay uh in order to check the status okay so in order to check the status of grid or health check of your hub we have this command okay let me go and check that what has happened okay so it says browser timeout this and debug flag is true and role is hub okay so there is no slots available that means the nodes are not getting attached here I don't see any reason for that. Okay, my two nodes, in fact, it should get listed over here. Uh, let me check. Okay, both are running. Node Chrome and Node Firefox okay not an issue what i'll do is i'll i'll stop this and start it again now how to stop this now to execute we use this command called as docker compose uh, and up and d right now to take this uh, docker compose down we need to use docker compose and simply down right so i'll use docker compose and simply down so that whatever services were running on port double four double four will be taken down okay and you see all the services are taken down and it has removed the network as well now if i go to the same url i should not be able to see anything i don't see anything right so that's fine right uh okay or uh, was i referring different file in a minute open this one No, I should. I was referring the correct one. Let me specify. Maybe there are two file names. I'm not sure whether it is confused because of anything. Uh, let me give the correct name. It should be Docker Compose YML. Let me execute this. okay that is created and uh, if i check docker ps hyphen a i should be able to see three containers are created and let me go again and check the grid console okay yeah so it was referring the wrong file uh, because i have two yaml files present over there if you see on this folder 
I have two YAML files, Docker Compose YML and the other version YAML, right? So let me remove this other version file for unnecessary confusion, right? So what I did is because there were two files, so I did specified hyphen F and the exact file name. File path is not required because I'm I'm there in the same directory. Right now here you see the grid is created and only one Chrome instance is created and one Firefox instance is created and we are good to uh, I mean connect or start the execution on the specific instances. Now if I check the status okay so for status you see there are two free slots and there are total two slots right so this is just the health check API what they have given just to check the health. We can monitor the same thing via this. In fact, this grid console internally called the same API. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Now my Selenium grid is up and running, and I should be able to trigger my test execution, right? So this particular command to start my Docker making it up. Here you can check the status and to step down or to stop your Docker compose, uh, sorry, your Selenium grid, you can simply use this particular down command. Okay, now here <coughs> the point is you can see only one Docker is sorry only one node node for Chrome only one node for Firefox. Now let's say uh, now right now or let's say today or let's say for some time I need five instances of Firefox or three instances of the Chrome and maybe after that I will take it down to two or three because I don't want to consume a lot of resources. In fact, Docker does not come. Uh, consume lot of resources they are very lightweight processes but still okay so let's say now i want this firefox to increase the instances to let's say four right so what i will do is there is a command for scaling up and the command is again starting from docker compose docker compose up okay and you want to scale so the command is hyphen hyphen scale what you want to scale i want to scale the chrome service right so this name chrome should be exactly same what you have the name for the service this one it should be the exact same name this one chrome or firefox okay so let's say i want to uh, scale this time firefox so i will use firefox and let's say currently i had only one service now i want to make it to three services so what i will do is instead of chrome let me make it to firefox okay and i will simply execute this particular command so this will create uh, three instances of firefox great and you see here instance 2 and instance 3 is created for Firefox right now if I go and refresh my console can you see now I have total three instances the first one was the first first one is still there and the two new are created for Firefox let's say I want to create for some reason I want to create five instances so it will create two more instances the initial three and it will create two more instances okay it is ready yeah so i see total five instances so this is how i can scale up and uh, scale down even scaling down is the similar way i can simply remove or i would say decrease let's say now i want to scale it down so i would say docker hyphen compose up and for scaling down let's say from five now currently there are five instances but i just want three instances so i will update the count to three and execute and it will remove uh okay so you see stopping and removing this particular container four five and three four five not three four five four and five because i said i want three firefox instances or three Firefox nodes or three nodes with Firefox instances. Okay, just taking some time. Okay, so you see for Firefox currently there are three processes running one is for Chrome and one is for Hub. 
okay and also you can see if since how much long it is up so the two processes are up from a minute but other three are up from last five minutes not sure why it is taking this much time but it should be scaled down to three okay anyway that's when this refresh will work anyway we'll see that so now i have uh, chrome instances and firefox instances all right so that's it i'm done with this particular video in my next video i will uh, talk about whatever test cases we have created right so if i go to my uh, directory where i have created test case where i have data driven test cases and if i go to this user login test here i have my multiple test cases just for parallel test execution i have created that right so i will trigger these test cases test case execution in parallel on selenium grid okay so yeah so stay tuned for this video thank you